So I know you've been skipping up a body. You know who you are. You've been skipping up a body, lying, saying you put in four days of working out, but really it was three, and three of those were late day. <laughs> Listen to me. I know I'm talking to somebody who has been stuck on using that 5 kg dumbbell or that 6 kg dumbbell or that 10 kg dumbbell for the last six weeks. Babe, what are we doing? <laughs> Okay, I need you to improve. The only way that you're going to be able to build muscle, the only way that you're going to be able to burn fat is by challenging yourself. Being comfortable is not going to bring you any kind of growth. Nothing, babe. You're just going to be there unless you're there to have fun. Unless you're in the gym, you just have a good time, hit it. But if you're there and you've got goals, the next time I see you, I need you to. There's no excuses. There's not. Let's go to the gym. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna see you guys in the gym just now. I'm going to kill this upper body workout. Let's go. I am so excited to finally announce that my challenge, the last challenge of the year, has officially launched and it launched last night. Registration is currently open. I'm going to link it in the description box. But I am so excited. We're going to hit glutes. We're going to hit those legs. We're going to hit the core as all of that. Because I heard you guys say you want to work in the core, you want to work in the glutes. So we're going to work on exactly that. I cannot wait. There are five rules that we have to follow for this challenge. And it is a 30-day challenge. And I currently have a sale running and I think it's about to close. So... I'm gonna see you guys in the challenge. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna kick this workout off with a warm up standard procedure. Now, I can assure you that there's at least nine out of ten of you guys that skip this part. I don't wanna drag you, but stop skipping your warm ups, okay? You want the best results, you wanna feel good during your workout do your warm-up it's literally just five minutes babes so i like to do just four to five exercises nothing too intense and i use a long resistance band mainly because i have been training all week so my muscles are already quite warm so we're just doing this just to feel good and get the best out of our workout and in this video i am going to share useful tips that questions that i had when i started out questions that i still have and things that i think are frequently asked in my comment section and um in my dms about working out but mainly the upper body part questions such as when should i start going heavier do i need to lift heavy to see results do i when should i change my sets and my reps and things like that um so we're going to talk about all of that stuff i think this is going to be such a great video i hope you have subscribed and i really do hope you enjoy this video let's go <laughs> So before we actually address the elephant in the room, because I know that there's someone that is watching this video right now and thinking to themselves, I'm definitely not doing this workout because I'm not trying to look bulky and shit. Babes, we're going to talk about that just now, okay? <laughs> so the first thing that I do are scab pull-ups. And the reason why I do this is because I'm trying to engage my lats. If you're not doing this yet, I suggest you add this into your routine because it's going to do a thing for your waist, okay? So will lifting weights make you look bulkier? First of all, babes, we do not have the skeletal build to be built like a man. We do not have the hormones to be built masculine or to be built like a man. And so the only thing that lifting weight, weights does for your muscles and for your body is that it promotes hypertrophy so your muscles will grow and so it is literally the cheat code to you becoming the most sexiest strongest curvy version of your body i couldn't think of anything else that i would do if i was in the gym literally i wish i started lifting weights earlier because of what it has done for my body please lift weights and especially for upper body it will change your whole entire physique we're gonna kick things off with push-ups i don't like the bait but listen 
you only get better at push-ups when you practice them okay you just have to practice them i have a video on instagram and tiktok that basically shows you how a year ago i couldn't do a single push-up but here we are now we're pushing 15 per so you just have to practice babe so when it comes to structuring your workout you want to start off with your most important lift so for example if you're if you're training shoulders you want to actually start off with shoulders so don't go do something else first and then hit the shoulders because by the time you hit your shoulders your muscles are exhausted and you're tired and your mind is tired and your body is tired so that results in you not getting the best out of that exercise or out of that workout so you want to start off as well as with compound movements so compound movements are the movements that target more than one muscle um like your squats and things like that This next exercise is absolutely a babe she's my favorite because this is what has given me that big back small waist thick gas <laughs> that i will glass you know what i'm saying exactly so i love lat pull downs oh my goodness so as you do your lat pull downs you want to make sure that you engage your lats and then pull down for you to be able to get the best out of this exercise now should you be lifting heavy to see progress first thing that i'm going to mention is that for your muscles to have any kind of training for hypertrophy to take place your muscles have to be put under pressure and forced to adapt to this new pressure and so you need to work on progressively overloading but i should mention this heavy is relative to you so what's heavy for me may not be the same thing as what's heavy for you so you should focus on your body and where you're at in your fitness journey you should not for you should not sacrifice sorry um correct form for lifting heavy so if you're for example doing a hip thrust but you're not getting the full range of motion it that means that you're missing out on the most effective part of the exercise so your biggest thing should be to focus on performing the exercise correctly to reap all the benefits and then you can work on adding more weight or increasing the load bringing me to my last point which is that your mind normally gives up before your body does so as you're lifting try to your mind is going to convince you that okay we're tired you should be trying to push past that and your first rep should not look like your last rep. your last rep should look like okay we've maxed out we've really pushed for your muscles to be able to make any kind of change now the face pose target your rear deltoids your rhomboids and your traps so again with this movement you want to first engage those muscles and then initiate the movement bringing me to the next question will training your obliques or your waist make it wider now growing your obliques or training your obliques will not shrink your waist let's just get that out of the way it does not shrink the waist because your obliques referring to your waist are a muscle so when you train or you put or train that muscle or you put load on that muscle it results in it growing and so the way that you get that hourglass shape is that when you train your back muscles and you grow them obviously you're going to have a bigger back and then that bigger back creates the illusion of a smaller waist so the way that you can get if you are looking to get that hourglass shape you have to train your back muscles and grow your back muscles as well as reduce your overall body fat percentage you cannot spot reduce so you cannot pick and say i'm just going to lose fat around my midsection it just does not work that way so you need to reduce your overall body fat percentage but when you train obliques and you train your abs those are muscles and that will result in them becoming stronger and in them growing and that's basically what gives you that hourglass shape now this next one is a superset supersetting the military press and the upright row and this targets both your shoulders and your back muscles so you feel that your upper body is weak when you do push-ups your upper body gives out too quickly um, unlike your lower body the only thing that i can honestly say to this is the only way that your upper body is going to become stronger just like your lower body did is by practicing and by actually training it so lift up the 2.5 kg dumbbells and get those lateral raises in you know what i'm saying like build your strength as you go the only way it's going to get stronger is by actually training that muscle and having it adjust to this new pressure that you're adding onto it by neglecting or not training your upper body you're only doing more harm you're not you're never going to improve from that point so keep showing up and keep working your upper body and keep getting those upper body workouts in and you will see a huge improvement in your strength and in your overall muscle growth that's my type of shit like got my mom's logo and i'm about to get a pad brand new sheets for the bed they said y'all was tuned in back in i swear they keep jacking
check in. I ain't doing no verse, quit asking. What's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hopped in. I got options, I can pass that like stocking. Just joshing, I'ma spend this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top ten. I can put the ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in the friend zone. This shit sound like an intro jet song, give me that tempo. So cool, he a fool with this shit. Told her, don't let her friends know. In the building, I move like a dime. So this next exercise are your bent over dumbbell rolls. You can also perform this exercise with a barbell. And now what this targets are your traps as well as your latissimus dorsi, which are the wings on your back. The question being that will training chest or training upper body result in me losing my boobs? First things first, your boobs are made up of tissue and fat. And so if you are training and you're losing or your boobs are decreasing in size, it is not a result of the chest exercises. It is a result in you losing body fat based off of how you're training as well as the energy that you're taking. So how you're eating. So when training upper body, you should not be leaving out any muscles because, oh, I don't want to target this muscle because I don't want to lose here. Because like I said, you cannot spot reduce fat as well as you cannot spot gain. So you can't choose where you want to gain weight and gain just in that place or in that um, area. So you should be training your full body. If your breasts are increasing in size, it is probably because you're now consuming more. So you're in a surplus, you're gaining. And if you're losing that um your your breast is just because you're reducing your body fat based on how you're eating and how you're training and so this last exercise were um weight plate front raises which targets your deltoids which i again absolutely love and to end this workout we're going to finish with a hundred skips just to completely destroy my arms honestly and just to get some sweat in. 